legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitche The lake it is said never gives up or dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron or 26,000 tons more and the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As big freighters grow, it was bigger than most with the crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left fully loaded for Cleveland. And later that night when the ship's bell rang, we would be the north when they'd been feeling. The wind in the wires made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the railing. And every man knew, as the captain did too, was the witch of November come stealing. The dawn came late, and the breakfast had to wait when the gales of November came slashing. When afternoon came, it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck, saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed ya. At 7 p.m., a main hatchway caved in. He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, in the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the ways turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say that at Whitefish Bay, if they put 15 more miles behind her, they might have split up or they might have capsized, they may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. on rolls, Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams. The islands and bays are for sportsmen. And farther below Lake Ontario takes in what Lake Erie can send her. Iron boats go as the mariners all know with the gales of November remember in a musty old hall in Detroit they pray in the maritime sailors cathedral the church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchigumi. Superior, they said, never gives up for dead when the gales.